Hey, what is going on guys? It's your boy Super Arthur and here and welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel. Uh, Richmond. So close, buddy. I uh I'm speechless. No, you know what? I hate you, Kyle Bush. No one likes you. Stop winning. You already stole a win away from Elliot at Dover. With the help of Newman, you stole that win away. Did it again. Uh, at least Elliot beat Hamlin, as you can see right here. Hamlin dived to the bottom, but Elliot was still able to clear him. Ugh, that just sucks so much. <sighs> well, overall, the race was pretty good. Um, like, the uh, the race itself was pretty decent, except for the long green flag runs. It got kind of boring, but at least the end was nice and caution-filled with all those uh, wrecks that happened. And I got Chase Elliott up to P3, so I mean, eh. Then he finished P2. Uh, I'm just mad that Kyle Busch won. And uh, here's a different view of what happened. So, I mean, eh. The racing itself was okay, but for me... Like, from Chase Elliott fan perspective, he did not have the best car. He did not run well. On the short runs, he was good. But he kind of got, like, screwed on the restarts because slower cars in front of him. But he was finally getting those good restarts. He was doing good. Then, last restart, it was decent. It could have been better, though. It honestly could have been a better restart. Uh, it just sucks that this is the eighth time he came second. And he was like 11th or 12th or 13th, I think. No, 15th in stage two. And then, what was it? Eighth? No, seventh in stage one. But he moved up three spots in the point standing. So, I mean, eh. And, I mean... William Byron was doing better than him at one point. That that was bad. That was really bad. And William Byron did better than Chase Elliott. That was bad. That, that was not good. I got so hyped when the cautions kept coming out and Elliott kept getting better positions each time. Man, I really thought he had the win. Really thought he did. Uh, oh, and Jimmy got sixth, and that put him in the playoffs. He's 15th in the standings. Elliot's 20th, and then I don't know the rest. Uh, Larson finished seventh behind Jimmy. And Jimmy was being really aggressive on those restarts, making it three and four wide. He He was crazy, man. Um, I don't know. What else is there to talk about? Um, oh, um, Larson and, uh, Jamie McMurray made contact. They were pretty mad at each other. Um, looked like Harvick and Truex, either one of them was gonna win, then it ended up being Kyle Busch. That wasn't good. <sighs> I would have rather had Truex win than Kyle Busch. I would have had Elliot win in, in any world. And I mean, right here on this restart, Elliot being aggressive. But I mean, it's a good thing he didn't pass Hamlin right there. Because if not, he would have been in the... He would have been third, probably, at the end of the race. So it's a good thing he was second. Or not second, third. When the yellow flag came out right here with five laps to go. 
yeah, five laps to go. No, six. It came out, the flag came out right when he crossed the line. And then... Um... What else is there to talk about? Um... Let's see... Oh no, it came out now, never mind. I don't know what I was talking about. So, I almost said so yeah. I, I say that way too much, so yeah. It's crazy how much I say it. Suarez got a top 10 after a rough day. Jimmy got a top 10 after a run day. Byron fell back to 12th. I don't know what happened to him. He restarted like 7th, right? Yeah, he restarted 8th and he fell all the way back. Oh yeah, right there you can see 4 wide. And then he just got sucked to the back. I think it was partially Jimmy's fault, to be honest. He just made that thing four wide. That's what you do when you're a seven-time champ. Gano, fourth. Harvick, fifth. Kozlowski, no. Jimmy beat Kozlowski. Yeah, right there. <laughs> I showed it on the screen. Wait, what? This video? This person wanted Kyle Busch to win. Oh, heck no, I'm not watching this anymore. And you know what NASCAR decides to do for the post-race interviews? They put Chase Elliott and Denny Hamlin right next to each other. You can tell it was so awkward for them to be next to each other. That was, like, really awkward. That's, like, the closest they've ever been since uh, Martinsville. 2017 fall in the playoffs pretty sure that's the closest they've been in person maybe in the cars somehow they were closer actually no there's no way they would have been closer in the car so this is the closest they've actually been to each other like their bodies not the cars but like their bodies that's the closest they've ever been so i mean i don't know what nascar was thinking there <laughs> If anything, they should have put Chase and Jimmy or something like that. Or like Chase and Kyle Busch or at least all three of them. Would have made a little bit more sense. And I mean, nothing much else to talk about. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay super and goodbye. See you all later.